Welcome back to Dash Mode Gaming. We're playing the Grumps Kirby game again today, but we're also not afraid of asking the tough questions. Dash, are you excited for the new Insane Clown Posse album? I believe it's called Fabulous Fred Flintstone. Oh, you could have seen that look on his face. He, he, didn't, he had no idea what the fuck to say to that. I'm here for it. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you right now, they put out a single. Yeah. And I don't like it. I feel like they put out two singles, actually. Did they? I think so. Well, I've only heard one. And um, can't say I'm too keen on it. No? No. I, uh... <laughs> I, you said Fred Flintstone, and my mind was just <laughs> frantically racing to find a, a joke to make. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh look at that. I thought you were going right over the no, edge. No, I knew I was going to be okay with that. I knew. I knew. Let's see if I can uh, pull this off well, here. You know, you and I have both been listening to the Insane Clown Posse album since our early, mid-teens like that, you know? Yeah. So, there, there's no way that either of us is just going to not listen to it, I'm right. sure. But uh, you, you listen to them differently than I listen to them. I, I, want, I want, like, clowns. And you, you listen to, like, the production aspect. That, hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh, why did I do that for? I don't know. Sayonara. Oh, oh. no. No! No! <laughs> that would have no! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that would have been perfect. That yeah. Been, I would have been poised to I would have been poised to take the level. <laughs> but you you listen to the production aspect and all that. I don't I don't really listen to that. And I you know, it, it's not it's not a thing for me really. Well oh. 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 Hey, you stopped yourself. There you go. I don't really listen to that, so... Son of a bitch. You liked... What did you like? You liked Lost from Lost and Found? Yes. I didn't like either of those albums. I at hated the all. second one. At all. Um, I think... Oh, oh, geez, it's me again. It all sure right. as shit is. So I wonder how much that's actually going to push me. I'm going to compensate for that a little bit. Why don't you find out? I'm going to. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. Um, Are you dreaming of your wife again? Not mine. Oh, you're dreaming of mine? Yeah. Oh, oh cool. it's, I'm dreaming of Aaron's wife. <coughs> All right. I'm playing as Aaron, so I guess yes. Yeah. Well, that, that's what I meant by, are you dreaming of your wife? But, like, the last thing Insane Clown Posse did that I liked was actually the Mighty Death Pop. God and it's damn like, it. It's like the first half of the album I like. The rest of it just feels like... Massive, massive filler. I am pissed. But I also really enjoyed listening to how Shaggy Two Dope was running with a goddamn bazooka. Yeah. D dancing with a bazooka. Oh, Jesus. There you go, boy. I, th I thought it was like it maxed out. You give me another chance here to yeah. redeem myself. Yeah, to redeem yourself. What you got? Blam. You razz blasmataz that up. Boom. Boom. Boom, boom. Oh, he got it. See ya. Good job, Dash. Taking the lead. That's right. Good job. Look at my guys all pissed on the side there. Wah, wah. He looks pissed on the board there, too. So salty. Ooh. I'm only down by three. That's actually... If 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 you've watched our previous Kirby courses, me being down like by three, like halfway through it, that's not so bad. Uh, what do we got now? Whoop. Here we go. Oh, boy. So, Dash, what's your favorite Insane Clown Posse album? Um... Well, see, that's, uh... Kind of subjective. Okay. I think... I'm asking, I'm asking you... Personally, what's your favorite Insane Clown Posse album? Not not like, what's your favorite Insane Clown Posse album? Like if somebody were to come up to you and say, Hey man, I heard you I heard you like the Insane Clown Posse. Can you suggest a, an album of theirs that I would like, you know, first getting into them? Because I think everybody's going to pick the Great Malenko, right? Right. What is your favorite Insane Clown Posse album? I, 
I have two that I can't pick a favorite. Okay, that's that's fine. The first one is Ringmaster. Okay. Just because I like how raw it sounds in terms of of uh, production. Okay. Like you can tell they were still figuring out what they were doing. Right. With uh, Mikey Clark. Look at you. Oof. Yeah, that's not what I meant to do, but hey, it's okay. You can tell they were still figuring out what they were doing, but they, you can also tell that they had uh, found what they needed in Mikey Clark. Sure. I can see that. I can see that. And I felt like that was... It made for an interesting album. Yep. Ringmaster's Ringmaster's up there for me, surprisingly. Like when I first heard Ringmaster, I was like, oh my god, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get into this. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna own it and like I'm gonna listen to it enough to be able to talk about it, but it ain't that good. And now that like I look at I kinda look at Insane Clown Posse retrospectively almost all the time, you know? But uh Jeez. That wasn't what I wanted to do, by the way. I I, I believe it. But um, now that I go back and listen to them, um, Ringmaster's, you know, up there for me. Right. Well, it's got a lot of... I, I just like the production. It's got... Um, like, even from the beginning, that carnival sound on the intro. Yep. I love that. I love that the most when they do carnival-sounding songs. Uh-huh. That's my favorite. Um, my, the second of my favorite albums of theirs is Riddlebox. Okay. Because that's the point for me where it sounds like they actually figured out their formula. Gotcha. Totally makes sense. Whoa, that was... Very carefully. Very ginger. Very ginger. Very gentle. Getting a whole lot of nothing done. Lining myself up. Congratulations. Um, cause Riddlebox, they did the carnival sound, but they, it felt like it was meshed better in their production. And also their production, see ya. Shit. Also, I felt like their production just jumped ahead by just leagues. Yeah. The only song I don't like off of Riddlebox is Chicken Hunting. Oh, yeah. Which is like... The Riddlebox that, song. Right. You know which song? If I had to pick a song I did not like off of Riddlebox, that at, Riddlebox actually has my least favorite Insane Clown Posse song on it. And you're probably going to be shocked when I tell you which one it is. Which one is it? Old Evil Eye. Um, I like that song, but at the same time, it feels like a chore to listen to. Yeah. Um, because it's Because it's a story track, but at the same time, I like the fact that they're storytellers. So when they do... You're going to launch yourself. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Well, I kind of did. See ya. Oh, I wanted to... Oh, I don't have my fire anymore. I think it's going to be your turn again anyways. <clears throat> oh, you're dreaming. Yep. All right. But I like the whole storytelling aspect usually. Yeah. But that song, I just feel like I've heard it so many times. It always... Oh, I think I'm dreaming too. So it's going to be your turn now. It always it always felt like a slog to listen to, like I'm with you. I enjoy the uh, the storytelling aspect of the Insane Clown Posse, but that just wasn't that good of a story, you know. To me, it just <sighs> um I don't know. It was, okay. it was it was what it was. Yeah, I'm not gonna hate on it, but at the same time, like I've heard it before. I've heard it a million times. Yeah, well, I've heard every song a million times. Well, yeah. <clears throat> But yeah, I mean, for me, that's a, that's a skipper every time. Are you going to hit the warp? you going to get in there? No. Nope. 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 That's fine. I don't want to be in there. No, you don't. Um, I might have to play this strategically. I always skip uh, chicken hunting. Well, I haven't listened to them in such a long time. They came out with that uh, remastered version. Of? real box okay and it was okay but it didn't like i never saw that for sale in stores so i played them both side by side and like i could not 
tell enough of a difference to justify doing it. Okay. Like maybe it's just me. Well, I bought the like the twentieth or twenty fifth anniversary of the Great Malenko because my Great Malenko disc had seen far, far better days. It came with that second disc of tracks, which is kind of, I mean, some of them are cool, but some of them were just really, like, like there was a mashup on there between, like, the Nedden game and Boogie Woogie Woo, and my God, did it suck. Of course. Like, it, was, was, it was terrible. That was the Mikey Clark uh, murder mix, right? I, I honestly don't know, yeah. but I can tell you, man, like, it was it was, it was was just garbage. Yeah, that was the Mikey Clark murder mix. But then it came with the, uh... Oh, no! Oh, I thought I was going to at least steal that star. But then it came with the, um, shockumentary on DVD. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Did that not age well? <laughs> I remember I remember owning that on VHS, right? Right. Before you get too far... Is it going to be on next time on Dash Mode Gaming? It sure as fuck is. I'll, I'll talk about it then. All right. We'll see you then. We'll see you then.